Good morning, happy Wednesday. <laughs> um, of course, you'll always, you'll realize that I forget what day it is most days. Um, all I know is that it's another beautiful day here and it's time to get up and move. So I've got some moves for you today. Um, for equipment today, you're gonna want to grab a broom handle or a dowel rod if you happen to have one, or even just a long, normal bath towel. Okay, those will all work. Um, if you happen to have a resistance band, like a mini band or a hip glute band, then you can grab that if you want a little extra challenge in there. Again, this one can be made into a great workout, so I will show you. All right, and um, yeah, let's get started. So first you're gonna grab that broom handle. I've got my broom here. I even just have the whole broom right now because my broom handle's downstairs. Nothing fancy, you don't need anything crazy, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a little stretching and activation. It's a very subtle move, you don't have to go crazy. You don't need any heavy weights or anything like that, but it's really great for the rotator cuff and uh, you'll feel it. So if you have any shoulder issues and this one bugs you, just try and do the stretch, don't do any of the activation or just um, really take it super easy. Uh, we don't want any pain with this one. So yeah, if you do have any rotator cuff or shoulder issues, just be very gentle with yourself, no pain. No pain, no gain, that is not my motto, okay? So no pain, you stop, okay? All right, so here, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the broom like this. I'm gonna take it behind my back like that, and then I'm gonna take my other hand and I'm gonna reach up and grab. So you want a little bit of a stretch happening. So you can adjust your hands to the height that works for you, okay? And all you're gonna do here is we're just gonna do two moves. So we're gonna do an activation. So this is a nice stretch, so take those elbows out. Hang out here for a few seconds. All right, then what we're gonna do is I'm just going to put some upward pressure, like I'm trying to pull the broom up, like up this way, while resisting with this bottom hand, okay? So just some op opposing pressure. So I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna pose it with that bottom hand for three, two, one, and then release. Keep the stretch, and then you're going to switch hands at some point. You can play around with the grip here, right? I like to have the hand sort of palm is facing out here, and thumb is on the top, okay? And then again, okay, switching. So, we're, but we're, what we're going to do is we're actually going to combine it with another exercise here. So we're going to hang out here on this side. So I'm going to do my hold, my pulls, or my hair is getting in the way. Pull, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna release, but I'm gonna keep this. What we'll do is go into a good morning. So this is a great way to work on your deadlift form, all right, in a sneaky way, plus get in this exercise. So one of the things with deadlift that I always see is people coming down and rounding their back. See how now the broom handle's not touching my butt and it's not touching my shoulders or the back of my head. So we wanna, what we wanna do is while that's down up here, we're just gonna take a forward bend slightly, pushing the butt back, squeeze the glutes, pull the belly button in, and come on up to stand. So, five, four, three, two, one. Good morning. Nice and slow and controlled. You're gonna plant those heels when you go into the good morning. All right, make sure that your feet are grounded, but you're really planting those heels, especially. So you're gonna push your butt back, hinging at the hips, not at the knees, okay? And then squeeze your glutes, come on up to stand. All right, then you'll switch sides. So you can do about five to 10 of those each side, all right? Or each arm position, you know what I mean. All right, guys. So next one up, we're gonna go into a bit of hip mobility with a little bit of exercise kind of sneakily built into there, okay? If you are making this a workout, then you will feel this a little bit more, or as the day goes on, you're definitely gonna be feeling it. Mm -hmm. Okie dokes, always hydrate, it's already hot here. So I'm gonna take my band for this one. Just a light resistance band is all you need, you don't need anything crazy or heavy, all right? So you're gonna play around with your stance a little bit. I'm gonna show you using this step. Um, if you don't have the flexibility, especially in the morning, um, oftentimes we're a little bit stiffer. So what you're going to do is take your feet out about shoulder width apart. 
right? Again, you can play with the angle a little bit. You're gonna take, turn your toes slightly out to the side, right? 15 to 25 degrees, somewhere around there. Okie dokes. I'm gonna first start by bending my knees and bringing my hands down here. All right, so I'm gonna get myself set up here. My hands are on the step. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my bum down. I'm gonna bend my knee, bend my knees, and I'm gonna keep pressing those knees outward. So I'm gonna drop to as low as you can. So if you can come all the way down, that's awesome. All right, from here, you're going to press back up, straighten those legs. All you're really doing is dropping your bum, okay? and then straightening those legs, dropping your head down. So here, if you have a little bit more flexibility, you can take it down to the ground. All right, from here. So head lifts up, chest lifts up, bum drops down and up, okay, getting that nice stretch through the hamstrings. We're actually working a little bit of the quads here and those hamstrings, right? So everything is still tensed up. So we're gonna be doing those, I like to call them bum drops, <laughs> okay? If by chance you're really stiff or you don't have a step, you can just do a modification of this. You're going to come here, place your hands on your thighs for some support or even a countertop. Okay, or a chair, you're just going to drop the bum back and down and press up. Even this, right, if you're doing this every hour throughout the day, you're really going to activate those muscles. Okay, so think about dropping the bum down, lifting the chest, keeping that nice flat back. Okay, so that's one move that you can do. Then you can either leave the band on if you have that on. If you don't have a band, you don't, that's okay, you don't worry about that. Then we're going to use the step again. Uh, just like with the push-ups, we're going to go into a forearm plank. So you can use a countertop or you can do this against the wall. No problem. Okay. We're coming here. Make sure you can see my feet. Yes. Perfect. So you're in that forearm plank here. You're going to tuck that tailbone under a little bit and your butt's going to come up into the air just slightly. Okay. What I don't want to see or what we want to try to avoid is actually putting too much pressure on the low back by letting those hips sag down. Okay, that's not doing anything. It's just putting a lot of pressure on the low back, putting it into extension. So from here, I'm gonna step those feet out to the side, tap the toes. If a holding a forearm plank is good enough for you, then just do that. Or you can take it into some plank jacks. Try and keep the butt low with the plank jacks though. Try not to come all the way up here. All right, so we're here. Keep the butt up in the air a little bit and hopping it in and out. So you're gonna do 10 to 20 of those. All right, and that's it. Really, that's it. Um, so team, thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions or need any modifications at all. Um, make sure that if it's hot out where you are, like it is here, that you drink plenty of water today. Um, I might put a few tips for hydration in there also um, just to help you out a little bit in case you need any extra ideas on how to stay hydrated. And then of course, if you're looking for a short sub 15 minute workout, including warm up, then read below in the comments and I'll let you know how you can turn this into a workout. All right, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you again and uh, yeah. Blessings to you and yours. <laughs>